Some people should just not code. And I'm not saying this to be mean or gatekeeping coding or anything. It's just that I feel like coding and programming seems like a trendy thing that everyone wants to jump on, but it might just not be for you. I'm gonna talk about the signs that will indicate to you whether it, coding is something that you will excel at or it's just gonna be frustrating it doesn't suit your personality or your brain um, and hopefully this can give you some clarity on whether it's something you should keep pursuing or just stop. It's time to stop! I want to talk firstly about the phrase anyone can code because a lot of creators or software developers including myself I probably said this in videos say that anyone can code and that is still true but it's only technically true and it does, it kind of takes everything out of context. I think people try and force themselves to want to like it because it's a cool thing to be coding. I know how to code. This is what roped me into coding at first, but I'll talk about that later. I think with the rise of boot camps and like technology just developing in our world right now kind of pushes people into feeling FOMO about not being part of that and then they think oh like i i i can do that you know anyone can code just because it's possible doesn't mean it's right so here's some signs that heavily indicate that it's not for you if the thought of trying to figure something out makes you feel sick <laughs> coding is not for you but what i mean is if the thought of you know, spending hours on something small and going through all the possibilities of why it could be wrong, why it's not working, a million and one solutions to try and fix that. And if that doesn't excite you, then that's the first red flag. As a software developer myself, obviously every bug fix or fixing something is not exciting, but you still have this inner, like, curiosity and desire to fix it because well one it's your job and secondly you just want to know what why is it not working and you just that kind of motivates you to carry on and solving it another red flag i would say is if you're learning how to code and you're finding it really difficult and you're just constantly getting frustrated but you keep wanting to give up and it's just generally making you sad that's probably a bad sign. On the other hand, if you're finding it hard, which most people do because it's learning a new thing, but you still keep going because you're genuinely interested in figuring out the work or the learning stuff that you're doing, um, that's a good sign because it means that it's gonna satisfy your brain. <laughs> it's a very logical kind of Thing. So if you've not got a very logical brain and you don't always want to be thinking in a logical way then you're probably going to just find it annoying. And the important thing is when you get something right and you feel like yes, finally I've got something right and I really get it now. If you've got that feeling, that's good. On the other hand, if you feel like oh my god it took me 5 million years to get this point and all it is is that and it doesn't like it's just you just don't feel good about it it's kind of more of like enjoying the process and not just oh yeah i want to do coding and i want to sit there and bbdb boop <laughs> and then it's it's just not that you just have to enjoy the whole learning process and to to some people that's gonna just seem annoying and long and those people are probably not suitable for it which is fine going back to me feeling like i was getting fomo i did actually just think oh yeah i'm gonna quit my job and do coding because it sounds cool which is not what i would recommend you do uh, however it worked out for me and i'll tell you why my previous job was actuarial analyst and this is very statistical maths based job so i actually studied mathematics at university and that is very much problem solving so you would spend a lot of time working out things 
and getting frustrated. But then when you finally get it, it clicks and you're like, yes, I like this. That was fun. <laughs> so that translated over to coding, luckily, thank God for me. Um, and when I started, I actually enjoyed it. And I knew, yes, this is something I wanna be doing because I enjoy the process. And of course there's times where I'd want to cry because I can't get anywhere and I'm just stuck on this one little thing and it's like, how how does this not work? How, and then it does get really frustrating, but there's something about just getting things like right and learning. I just love learning new things. It just feeds me. And you have to remember, don't feel FOMO. Coding might not be for you and that's fine. If you feel FOMO about not working in the tech space, there's loads of other jobs you could do like UX or data analysis and stuff like that to be in that space, but you don't directly have to be coding. The things you pursue should be fulfilling for you. Having said all that, if you're watching this and you've not even tried to code, then that's the first mistake. You should always try things. Just kind of check in with yourself along the way of like, am I enjoying the process? Is this fulfilling me or is it just making me miserable and sad? And then kind of work out whether it's something you should pursue in the long term or just drop it and fill your time with something that you like. I hope this video was helpful. I hope this means that you're either pursuing coding or you'll stop pursuing coding. Whatever it is, just make sure it's something that keeps you feeling good and fulfilled. But if you are interested in coding, I have loads of videos for beginners on concept overviews and they're like two minutes each so you can learn so much. So go check them out. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Click. What the hell was that? You pulled me back. You beast. <laughs> anyway.